a lot has changed. That's all we got. And this is before we were expecting any of these guys to get the top eight. Definitely. And they're here definitely. at their peak. Definitely. They're at peak right now. And, well, Basmage with the tag call, if I'm correct, well, like peak kind of, well, stands up to his, to his tag because he's been going wonders up to now, uh, winning against, what is it, Ron? I don't remember his run, but for now he's doing well up to now. I mean, again, uh, he wants his run back against the Ramage waiting in wins, yes. so he wants to win this one for sure. And you know Base Mage has been trying to get top eight for a while now. Definitely. He told you that, hey, like it's been a really long time since I've gotten top eight, and I'm so happy to be here. I know he loves Battle of BC, and this is where he tends to be so strong. He feels so comfortable, and he's going to have to show it now. I don't know if he's going to be as comfortable in this matchup. You're going to see because he yeah, got come out for a sure. lot. Tariq already told me that he was kind of proud of his Gatling. Let's see how he can do that with it. But yeah, he wants to show us, show us his combos with it, so yeah. Keep an eye out for it. There yes. we go. It's going to happen now. Oh yes! my god! What kind of Standing option is win. that? What a tech chase too. You had no choice to land on Check that platform. Wait, are you gonna are you gonna spot dot? Are you gonna tech? Are you gonna tech roll in? Tech roll out. Get up attack. No, you're not. And you're not even done. You can't even recover from the last moment because now you gotta process this one too. Oh my goodness, Torigur is just having a field trip here with Jigglypuff. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you can't even afford to do that. Yo, that was a donation if I've ever seen <laughs> you know, one, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm having too low for percent for my own combos. Give me a sec. I just need a more grenade in your I'm face. I'm feeling kind of bad, brother. Let me go oh, ahead and give you a little bit of a help. Mate. There it is. Oh. Just Basmage just showed us that the Nair kind of worked well to cancel those eggs. So maybe he can actually try them a bit more. I mean, I'm just a caster, right? There yeah. it is. See yeah. ya. That's the same thing. That's the same thing that's happened before. Another one. Another one. Can we get one more? No, 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 no. Don't curse be, him. Let's see, Don't man. Curse I mean, my him. man looks Wait. like he is just I laughing at this point, looking like he's got more jump than Jigglypuff himself. <laughs> he's got to go ahead and find a way to adapt to this bird and bear working together as a team that is creating such a beautiful relationship. One potato in the face. I'm talking about that fair here from Toriguri. Already, I, okay. keep, I may say Bastage already, I keep percent right now. That back throw is also I... so strong, Humming B. I wouldn't be surprised if that next one on the ledge will do <laughs> it. Right I know he's like, hey, 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 you want to play, you want to play, you want to play? Okay, little dash tack, little hair, you got a little haircut. Okay, but we're alive. Nice, just helping me out to get back on the stage. I got thank you very much. Dude, that's, 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 there's no way, there's no way, brother. There's no way, you're actually nasty. gone like this. These guys do not have any good intent in that tournament. Ja no job lock, just a dash attack here, unfortunately for the last mage. I love, though, how calm base mage is. He hasn't flinched once in that camera, because let me tell you something. When you got rest on your side, anything is possible. <laughs> And, it, and you got DI too, so I feel like Base Mage is learning. It just, he needs a minute. I mean, no one plays Banjo in the way that this guy does. TG putting in the work. And he's got to learn fast because that game one is slipping away really quick. Indeed. I guess this is just game one. He does have time to adapt and all. And you, as you say, you can already see him evolve. Time to go for the weekly buff, the weekly buff now. That's it. Yo, sometimes you want to say, ooh, poke, poke, poke. Watch out, these beats. Okay, ever see a Canadian goose? It hurts. <laughs> you Whoa, that I'm is very go scary. I'll go go home. <laughs> go home from me and my friends, okay? You got oh. the, I love the plushie, by the way. What a nice touch. Okay, I staying mean, with the personality. It does bring some luck, I think, in that situation. Oh, yeah, I, I thought mean, you. I've seen players kiss and have, like, trophies. I know, kiss their own plushies before the set, so, yeah. Well, you know, I think that's beautiful because it's like you have such a personal relationship and connection to a character. I mean, especially when Banjo came out, right? All these other DLC characters came out and was like, Absolutely. well, there's way better characters that can do what Banjo does, but better. But no, I'm going to stick with Banjo-Kazooie because this character means a lot to me. And I'm going to show why and what he can do by show and pushing the limits of this character's Nothing about pushing limits. I love the choice of stage here from Bass Mage. Removing the platform that kind of extended the combos from the uh, Toriguri is not a good idea. Now we just need to... <laughs> Those grenades I just bouncing to, around. I need oh. you to go over there a little bit. <laughs> can you can you slide to the side? Thank you. Sniped again. Don't need any <laughs> Gatling eggs for that. Grenade all the job pretty well. Pretty well. Yep. Okay, a little now, bit of a shield poke. Me. Coming in on the side, holding down. This is where base mage is strong. But guess again, you got grenades. You thought snake was an issue. Look yes. what I can do. Nice. Answering back finally, an explosion of his own. You base mage taking the first stock of the second game, just showcasing how smart this guy is and doesn't care what there matchup we go. might we're just go. Let's -a go! Toriko showed us earlier his game plan and the way he does manage to handle those Gatling eggs with perfect precision. But Bass Mage is known as the Edgeguard King right now in his character. And 
Yes, he's going to bow down now for his first stock, but the damage has been done already. Now he just needs to do it one more time, and I guess he does have some leniency to find a way to get in. That's it, and I feel though we have an extra stock, that's like that extra credit base yeah. mage needed, but it's not over until the, the bird says so and the bear, because not only do they no, 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 my punch, friend. Where are wait, you going? Yo, where are you going? We're flying. We're you good. Know what? You we have got four more tries. You have four more tries. You have four more get out of jail cards. Let's see, though. Are you going to be able to use them the way that base mage is going? Still an entire stock lead and even extra credit on the last stock. I feel like TG's going to have to play a lot more safe, and he won't be getting any of these attacks on the aggressive side that we've been seeing before. It's going to have to be nice and safe, loving the approach and the spacing he's showcasing. Definitely. Right now, so there's a winning condition that's clear as day for Bass Mage. Just get that Torigori out of the stage three more times. There we go. Three more to go. I love, oh my gosh, the Z-Grab too, even walling it out. I love that he placed it behind him, waited as a wall, forcing Base Mage to stay out, and then caught it, threw it back. Two to go. It. So smart. TG understands. And you love the way he's patient. You told him he's calm and he's going to do it again and again. No, we need to wait for two more times. Fun and air into fair. Love the work we've seen there from Bassmage adapting to what Torigo are bringing on the table in game one and keep kicking on up to toe to toe to him. I'm not even surprised either because Base Mage looked so calm game one. After everything was happening, he really was calculating. He's used to seeing Jigglypuff blow up at zero. This just is like a typical Monday. Itself, just another day at work. No biggie. I'm going to cross this. That's it. Like, at the end of the day, we're playing Smash Bros. There's still things we don't know, and we're seeing it live with Banjo in front of us. But Base Mage always pushing the character that is Jigglypuff and knowing and, and taking the positives of this character to put it against even the hardest of situations, including that amazing crouch at the beginning of this game. Sick, but you know what? We have platforms again now. What are we going to see from Torigori and oh. from Bass Mage adapting wise? Like, is he going to avoid those platforms? Is he going to play under? I'm not sure exactly what you can expect from now, though. That's already a hefty combo here from the Banjo player. I definitely agree with you, Homie B. I feel like these platforms is what's been causing so much rampage on the side for Team. TG, but uh, oh, here comes Biting Back. Base Mage knows that he needs platforms of his own if he wants to get any kind of rest up, sing, and recess from aerials. I know that they love having platforms, but what's different is that Jigglypuff is able to play on flat and flat. <laughs> okay, girl, okay. We just take him. I just took my bird out for a walk. We're back. Yeah, it's kind of it's time to go for a walk with it. When you gotta go, you gotta go. But if I'm correct, I think that if Batman just crouches, he goes below the deck. Direct the Stay, stay, stay. I'm good. My, finally, a reaction in the camera, okay? You're going down with like, this one for sure. Shoot. You move, you're going out. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay? <laughs> See you at the park. Go and chill out for the nice. walk. We're at the, we're at the park. We're taking out, okay? Oh, you thought you were gonna do something? I got wings. Now, again, as you say, he's been in his mind up to now, but for, again, Basmich just being as calm as ever, not going to fall down for his tricks anymore. I hope so, though. There we go. First grab here, forcing me out. That one doing was quick enough to get out that fair. Okay. Now another one for sure. Yep. Two more to go. Opportunity. Oh, I love that. Okay, something I need to point out is the respect TG gave to Base Mage in that situation. Not only did he escape the ledge, he focused on returning to the center of the stage and got comfortable before he got back into the fight. Understanding why Base Mage still controls the stage. It's not his turn yet, but here it is. The bite back is going to start any minute. Yes, indeed. There we go. From first up here, going to connect and it's time to juggle, I guess. Nope. What a Good setup. shield pressure with that grenade and going, oh my, that was a weird plank if I've seen one. Yo, your beak does something in my hair. <laughs> okay, set up. What you got? You got no more wondering. I love the grenade. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Just stall it out. Four, five minutes remaining there. And that's a very skewing banjo and Kazari going for the full rage up tilt. It's going to be enough to get a second kill on Bass Mage. I love this. Even when he had no Wonder Wings left, he's still flying still got high. Got he knows how to work those grenades against him. Look at this. I don't know how that. Yo, are we playing co I Get the hit marker sound effect. I need someone to get the hit marker sound effect. Please post it on Twitter. I'm going to serve that Jeez. Jiggly Buff saute, my friend. That was a good juggle, but you're not going to come down nah, from it. There's no I think there. he is. There's no I think wings. he is. There's I no think wings. he's alive. Okay, but this time, Base Mage's ready. He's like, I don't care. You're not down until you're out. So I'm going to make sure you don't come back. Right, keeping the count here on the Wonder Wings was enough for Base Mage to finally take the first kill. But the damage has been done already. Look at that 40%. That still count. Oh, my. Ooh, interesting. Uh, not here. And already going for the kill. I don't like this bear at all. I don't like... I, I don't know what I like. You're about. I don't, oh, no! Look at that. Again, there's no good intent in that man. Uh, Look at that. <laughs> this is why you're in top eight, base mate. This is why you're in top eight, base mate. This is why you're there. Show him it, 
And if we're gonna hear a rest, it better be soon, because I thought something was gonna be setting up there. No one wants to give up. These characters showing so much potential as the game continues to level up here Stop. in Battle of Beasts. Level up indeed, there we are. Level up, go back to the nursing. <laughs> Pokemon Center there. Bro, we need a minute. <laughs> Woo! All right, 2-1 for Toriguri there. Bass Mage was onto something though. He was catching up. It started out really rough, and all he needed was that edge guard. But did you see the armor that came in on those feathers? The wings just was so quick. I was like, nah, man, you're gonna kick me out. I got wing, you know? But I didn't. From removing he managed to get in, he does manage to extend it up to kind of a stock every time, or a way to get a stock afterwards. The problem is the way to get in. Exactly. He doesn't manage to find a clue to get that though. He doesn't manage to find the solution to the riddles that Torego is asking him every time. Yep. And another platform. Another platform. But a little bit of a different platform. I know that we're starting to run out of stages here, Hummy yeah. Now, we do want to remind everybody who is watching, there was only one ban. So if we are to assume, probably PS2 or another stage was instead banned. And, and there's so much... Like maybe. Hey, yeah, hey, maybe. I don't even know why. I'm actually wondering why we're not on something like Town and City. Maybe the platform placement. I'd like to see something longer to kind of bait out Banjo to come to you. But then again, Banjo hits pretty hard on those sides. So maybe do avoid the early KOs. If any Fastlit does have the best average in the game, it is Historical who's playing around him. Look at that. Jeez. Look at that. Yeah, I, know, I, that? I noticed your shield was low. Yeah. So I'm gonna just come by and check up on you. You good, mate? Sight me in the face. Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. Good. Your goodness. He's out, baby. And he's continuing. More explosives. It's fireworks. It's Easter. Happy Easter. Here's your eggs. Take some chocolate. Kind of saved by the grenade here. He was going to be in a Texas Tex 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 situation. Yep. Not going to happen this time around. Still got a lot of wins. No need for that, actually. I can just go for an upper and do another one. Just bad for good measure, I guess. My man TG doesn't know the, the actual word for disadvantage, okay? He doesn't think What's it that? actually exists. Is What's it disadvantage? Can you hit it? What's the disadvantage? Like a whole word is? <laughs> <laughs> 100% and still counting. The Gatling egg is still there. Okay. okay. First hit. This is a moment. Wait a minute. There wait a go. minute. You're wait coming a minute. out. You're not He's surviving out. this. Yes. Bad Mage again extending his edge guard situation as, as much as he can, taking risks up to the very end. So I did. <laughs> my man's like, I'm going to worry. I'll be there in a minute. Let He's me just. Pulling me. <laughs> I love that though. Base Mage understood that for Banjo to recover on his recovery, he does need to charge it a little bit for that height. Unlike other spring characters like Mega Man or Sonic, Banjo needs to charge it up. And that's where you have the opportunity to attack. But not defeated yet is TG as he tries to get the second stock. Second stock indeed, cast right now. Batman does have a lead. He could actually just try to force TG to approach for once. There we go, stall it out a bit there, forcing the approach. And it seems like Toriko is living with it without any issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I've ever seen a slippery slide, it's nice. definitely that Getting one. Getting him out of stage, there we are. Nice. And there we are, TD adapting to what Batman was trying to go with the aggressiveness of the ledge. You know what, instead of going straight to the ground, I'm going to go backwards and then go for the wandering to punish you for your aggressiveness. It's I actually, know what I'm seeing there. Same, and it's the second time too. We know that Base Mage got it on the last game as well. But again, the same response. Get out, I'm back, baby. 44 to 41, TG takes the lead in percent on the last stock here. It is match point. Yeah, for forcing Beijing. the edge and then going for the punish. I love what I'm seeing there from Japanese players. There we are, again, sharking a Jigglypuff. Who does that? Honestly, right, especially from the ground. And I think that's what is so important to know here, Amin right. is that in an advantage state, the lower character will have priority, and Jigglypuff has to be over his opponents. And that's TG's moment to stay underneath and pick him up from the scoop. Yeah, and you know what, there's also, there's a trigger right there that uh, TG could pull out. A Wonder Wing just like that. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. Exactly! That could get a kill! He pulled the trigger, it's not going to get a kill yet, but alas, the damage has been done back. Who could do it for him? And there we are! That's the 3-1, three, uh, three, excuse me, victory here for our friends. Tori... Oh. Tori Gori. Tori Moves forward. I, I hiccuped. I, that, that, like, I did the gaha in my throat. <laughs> Go boy. I'm going movement. all day long here. Oh, His goal so was to win at least so one good. more round, and he, there he is. Rating is all ready, and I want to ask you guys to give a quick shout out to Bass Mage for his tremendous run up to now, finishing seventh of this tournament.
I am amazed by both players. I think that was a phenomenal set. I feel like if Base Mage had more time to adjust to that kind of play style, and from this specific player, maybe it would have been different, but just ran out of time. TG moved too quick, got the job done, moving on. Now it's time to go feed that bird a good snack, and congratulations. That was a very good introduction to the whole set, and just explaining again the whole like game plan of TG. It was such a preview. The way it was, it was exactly the best preview ever. Like, did you see that? That was a honest thriller we seen there. And the thing is, the way he's playing okay, around that neutral B is so obnoxious. No one does that, and he's been so productive. Sure, Basma did manage to find a very clean game too, if I may say. But from the moment TG does have his foot on the ground, he was the one orchestrating the whole game. That's it. I completely... I, it felt as if base mage was not able to play his game right he had was forced to play banjo's game and yeah. i know that in the online community where banjo's a bit more popular in usage you ain't seen him move like that but you're still playing his game so it'd be really interesting to see if we saw maybe a bit more patience on the side of base mage i feel like he kept trying to get in and it's hard because yeah you got all these projectiles coming out i have no choice i have nowhere else to go we saw that with even the shield there was none left but i know some practice some some strong review base mage will be back to get that set number three and with that indeed we have to finish seventh <laughs> and we have now the Two uh, losers bracket being done. We have riddles on one side, Torigri on the other. Time to move on to winners brackets. I'm excited. Who are you going to? Who are we going to have? So guys, get ready here as we move on. Spargo was as consistent in his gameplay as he is here on this stage, moving on, and is is poised to take this tournament in the way that he's been playing. Against though, not going to make it easy. The man, the myth, the legend from the land of Japan, Yoshidora. Coming Yoshidora into play. Indeed. And these two have a story together for they do. If I'm correct. Do you want to share the story? I can share the story because the story is going to be displayed in the screen right now if production is following me. Because the set count between the two is one not for Spargo, if I'm correct. Because he's the one who won at Kikarbi 10, uh, if my memory is correct. I believe it was. I remember and being Yoshidora 10. for sure wants to have his revenge yes. against Spargo. And he knows he got it. I mean, when it comes down to Yoshi, you always think, man, Yoshi's weaknesses are swords. And we know Spargo is the sword <laughs> Look at master. That. The so, sword right there. Yeah, I got one. No Where worries. Everything's going to be fine. But that's never held back Yoshidora. I mean, there's a reason he's here. He's fought many swords throughout this tournament bracket and more. So we will see that match as our players are setting up. But before we get that started, we wanted a word with our past winner because exactly. Banjo Kazooie, we got to know more about him. Let's flip to the next camera. Congratulations on your set win there. How has it been traveling to Vancouver, BC, and just competing internationally? How has that, has that experience been? まあ、まずよろしくお願いします。で、あの、普通に散歩するだけで楽しくて、はい、いい国だなと思います。Said Vancouver is a very beautiful city and just walking around the city is is great and he's really excited to be here. Excellent. We're excited to have you. Thank you so much for coming. Good luck in the rest of bracket. Back to you. We're back baby. Thank you so much for coming. I love that we got a little words. Always humble. We love it too. For sure. Oh. We love it too. I'm so happy to see that people are here. Okay, crowd's popping off, which means I'm seeing the select screen, guys. I'm <laughs> so for those <laughs> who want to know, you don't see yeah. it, but Marco clicked 